Hey everybody, welcome back to HNS Collectibles. This is Cody. Uh, so time for a haul video. I didn't do a haul video last week because I only got two things in the mail. I didn't think it was worth it. Um, but uh, yesterday I got to go out shopping with Dave uh, from Dave's Horror. And uh, we had a great time. We went around. Uh, we met in Evansville, down southern Indiana. And uh, uh, I took him around to shops that I know of. We, he, he headed into town to go to Atmosphere Collectibles, the record store that I enjoy going to. Um, and also took him to a few other places. So uh, to kind of kick off the two things I got in the mail last week that didn't bother making a haul video for. Um, Fistful of dollars and for a few dollars more 4K editions from Kino Lorber. Uh, I already had the uh, Good, Bad, and the Ugly that they put out on 4K uh, here recently. And when I saw these were coming out, I thought, okay, okay damn it, all right, you got me. Um, I need to have them. So there are those. And then things I picked up with Dave yesterday, first off, from... Uh, from Atmosphere Collectibles, the Forrest Gump soundtrack. Uh, this is not the music on vinyl edition. Um, this is just put out by Epic Soundtrack, I guess, is the label on here, Epic and Legacy. Uh, so I think the, the music on vinyl was like a red and a blue or red, white and blue or something maybe color variant. These are just black, standard, standard black vinyl. But uh, 32 songs from uh, from Hound Dog, uh, Clear Up Through Like Against the Wind by Bob Seger. Um, so like 30 years worth of music, uh, 32 songs. So it's a great album. And left over from Record Store Day, she was holding for me uh, Everlast. Uh, Whitey Ford Sings the Blues, so I haven't even opened this one yet, um, but I'm looking forward to it as well. I've been playing Forrest Gump for about the last hour, uh, and then uh, we went to Mega Disc Replay together. I got a couple movies for myself and one for my son. I got a steel book of John Wick 2 and gave to him, um, but I picked up 12 Monkeys which I didn't have, and Dead Snow 2, which I didn't have, and was pleasantly surprised. It was marked $12.99, and I thought, eh, I hate to spend that much, but I will. Um, and when I got up to the counter, it was like $7.99, so can't complain there. Then we stopped at uh, Evansville Toy and Game, and I found the Mego figure of Slim from Killer Clowns. Uh, I'll eventually open him up. Right now he's going in the huge stack of unopened toys. And then we went over to a little store called The Book Broker. And I found the Mego figure of the Toxic Avenger, which is just too cool. I have a Toxic Avenger soda toys figure. Um, it's actually on the shelf. Let's see if I can do that without knocking the camera over. That's him, that big glare. <laughs> right there can't see it but um that's him i had it signed by lloyd kaufman and mark torgel so i don't want to open the box um so got the Mego. um then in the barnes and noble dave actually bought this for me damn him um asked him to hold it for me while i went to the bathroom and he went up to the counter and bought it uh but a steel book of wayne's world um actually watched it last night whenever we got home and uh, I hadn't watched it in quite a while and uh, it's still just as goofy as I remember um, a lot of good memories a lot of nostalgia with that movie though uh, and then I guess the last thing uh, I didn't pick this up my son did brought it home to me he found it at uh, FYE but it's from a company called YouTube's um, and it was a King Kong versus Godzilla set. Um, I'd never heard of these, but they're pretty cute. Um, and let me get it. Here it is. It's them fighting, uh, fighting on the aircraft carrier. So there's a little bit of fire on the deck. There's the little control tower. 
and uh, uh, yeah, pretty cool, cute. Got the water splashing around. I like it. Um, he saw it and thought that I needed it. Yeah, they're U2s, U2s.com. I know he's got a, a U2s figure of uh, Bob Ross, and like Bob's hair is a mountain painting or something. Uh, pretty cool looking. But uh, yeah, so that's the haul for the week. Uh, contest is going good. I'm still above uh, a thousand subscribers. Um, so sorry, thought I had something on my arm. It's actually something on the on the camera. Um, still above a thousand. Um, so maintaining that, that's cool. Thank you all. Uh, I've got something now. I think like 16 entries. Uh, recent entries by Sean Urshan, Hobbs Horror, uh, Big Daddy J. Um, I don't think I'm missing any new ones. Uh, but I'll do a final roll call probably June 1st uh, and then do the drawing. I hope by June 3rd or, or we might even just wait and do it on the live stream Saturday night. That might be a good idea, but uh, at some point within the next week you'll see the drawing. And the winners will be picked. And I'll get things shipped out as soon as I can. And uh, just appreciate everybody. So until next time, uh, stay safe, take care of each other. I'll talk to you later. Thanks.